I want to explain myself how to invert a binary tree. So here it is. First of all, we are going to use recursion for this problem because each part of this tree looks like its root tree. This part looks like the entire tree. This part looks like the entire tree. As in, there's a set of rules that this data structure is following. Each of its nodes can have two or less than two children. Um, and hence, they look all the same. Second question that we need to ask is which base condition do we need to use to break the recursion? What negates the recursion recursive function, right? In this case, we need to negate the recursive function if we re reach a leaf node, which has no further children. What's the need of a base condition? Well, if we don't give it a base condition, our program will crash. In this particular case, for example, we need to use recursion first. So let's use recursion. In the first case, we have the root. Root dot left is two. And on the right of this root is three. First, we need to rep uh, replace each of these children with each other. So we'll replace each of these children with each other. Whoa. Now we need to do the same thing. Let's think of a function called replace. We need to use this function on the root, which will replace its left node with its right node and its right node with its left node. And then we need to call this very function, the same function that was called on its parents, on the children as well. So that we can replace this one with this one. And then we'll call this on this child, which will replace this one with this one. And then we need to say, call the same function on its children. In this case, our base what our base condition really is doing is that it's when we reach this particular node, we will place both of these uh, children with each other in which we will succeed because the root dot left will be set to the root dot right and the root dot right will be set to the root dot left. But it doesn't matter because both the children are null. And then this is where the recursion stops is when, when we give the null pointer to our replace children function and we find out when we go to find out the null dot left. And this is where the algorithm completely fails and breaks down and our program crashes. So we don't want that to happen in our replace children function. So what we need to do first of all is that we need to take care of the base condition when the recursion ends. We want the recursion to end when the root itself becomes null. For example, when we are giving this null pointer to this function right here, our main solution. So when we are giving a null pointer instead of the root variable or the root variable is null, we want our recursion to stop. So if the non root return null, but if we pass this condition, this base condition, then we need to go to our children and perform the same function that we will write right now, this particular function. Now we need to do what we really want to do with the children. That sounds terrible, but it is what it is. Now what we really want to do is replace each child with the other child, with its sibling basically. So since we only have two children in this case, we will save the left child yeah, in a temporary point because we don't want to lose the reference to it once we actually replace the root uh, children. So because if we <laughs> did root dot right equals to root dot left, then we just replace the right uh, child with the left child and then we lose access to the right child. How are we going to do root dot left equals to root dot right? Because root dot right already equals root dot left. We would just be doing root dot left equals to root dot left, which doesn't make any sense. So before we do this, Let's save the temp right in using the root right and then we change root right to root left and then we change root left to root right to temp right. After this, we do we perform the same invert tree function. This is where the recursion starts. We give invert dot self dot invert tree on its root dot left. And the same thing you need to do with root dot right. Because over in this case, now you might start seeing parallels with this. In our previous case as well, we we replace the children. So we replace these with each other. And then we need to go to their children and replace them with each other. That's what we're doing here. And then at the end of this function, we must recover the root. And that's it.